We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing this lovely October evening? It's lovely. It is pitch dark outside already. I, I guess it's nine o'clock. I guess that's not that weird, but you know, it's all good. Everything's fine. Kyle, we have a lot to do today. I don't I don't feel like doing the small talk up top. Quite frankly, sure. I don't feel like doing it. Let's we, just do got, the sloop picks. We got, we got six picks to go from here. If you want to listen to our seventh one, which is the Ohio State Oregon game, be sure to check out Thursday's Know Your Enemy Oregon edition here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and cover the other six games here. Um, there were some there were some good games that we left out here and some that we had to put in here as well, too, to kind of cover some of the time slots. So Jared and I typically try to pick games from all the time slots, pick a few from the noon, the 3.30, and the night game. But I'll just be upfront honest here. The noon games kind of sucked Yeah, as, and, as a whole compared, compared to the other games here. Yeah. Yeah, we only did one noon game, which is abnormal. But yeah, it, noon with... Just saying, if you if you need if you can't do all day college football, skip the noon window. Yep, it, it's honestly going to be that easy. Just skip the noon window. All right, but we do have one noon game. What game is that, Kyle? That is Washington heading on over to Iowa. Iowa, uh, Washington coming off that that uh, big win over Michigan and Iowa trying to. Trying to make something happen after um, getting clobbered by Ohio State last weekend here. Uh, the Hawkeyes are a three and a half point favorite at home versus the Huskies. Yes, Esquire. I, yeah, I think the, the picks are tough this this week compared to others. Honestly, I feel pretty good about my picks this week. All right, well, start it. us off. Start there us off. Then. Who, 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 who do you got in this one, Jared? This one, I think, is. I'm not. I'm I, no. no I'm not no no real life money this week. I'm, I'm both both in a joking don't real life gamble way and also in a series like no real life money this week. But if I were going to, I think this is the one I'd do. Iowa three point favorites in Iowa City against Washington. Why? Mm -hmm. One, as I mean, I wasn't gonna say it like this, but I saw Gangland say it in the chat. Rat poison coming for the Huskies. Uh, a team overachieved, got the, you know, we're on the, on the beneficiary side of a team chaos victory last week. Um, that tends to not play out well the next week sometimes. And most importantly, in, in, in this is, this is a, this, this is crap scheduling. I, I don't agree with this scheduling. This, this is, this shouldn't yeah. be done like this. You have a West Coast team playing at noon. That's a body clock game of 9 a.m. for those players. Well, technically, it's 11 o'clock. No, it's noon. I mean, it's I, I get what you're saying. But it's still it's noon for us. It is still body clock. For the Washington players, yeah, it's, it's 9 a.m. That's yeah. all that matters. We're talking okay. body clock. I yeah, don't care if enough. it's 11 local or noon local. The fact that I was in Central doesn't mean anything to me. To me, it's a Washington team coming off of a big emotional win last week, then turning around and having to do a 9 a.m. football game, which, quite frankly, shouldn't be scheduled like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jared, Jared's picked the Hawkeyes to cover here. And I agree. I think this is going to be a low scoring game. I think Washington, uh, I don't think they're going to have as much success as they did against, uh, as Michigan. They, they were at home. It was a night game, all amped up, all excited here. Uh, but I think, I think it's kind of a trend what we've seen so far in college football here where it's, it's tough. It's tough winning um, away from home here. And, and you may come up with a, a game where you had a big win and then you're going on, going on the road and then you, you, you struggle a little bit here. So I, I got, I got the Hawkeyes to cover. I think this is going to be a low and I mean a low scoring game, just the way Iowa wants it. It's going to be something right. like 14, 10, 
Do we something something like that? So I, I got I got Iowa covering as well since Iowa is a three and a half point favorite. I, I got Iowa covering. Uh, the over under for this is currently at forty one. <laughs> under, under. <laughs> I mean that's essentially uh, and, twenty points each. Yeah, Austin. Austin here says, ah, the two teams who made the Buckeyes extremely happy last week. <laughs> Ohio State dominated <laughs> Iowa following the first half, and Washington was able to take care of Michigan pretty well. Iowa's basically Michigan light this year, and maybe even a carbon copy of that team. The problem is that game is in Kinnick. However, Washington is getting a field goal and the hook, and Iowa isn't scoring more than 17-10. He has Iowa to win, but Washington to cover. All right. Remember, if you were around around for uh, the Know Your Enemy show, I've told you that the away team so far, and it's a small sample size, Big Ten, either West going East or East going West, one in seven against the spread. All right. All right, the uh the red rival rival the red river rivalry there you go there we go got it got it the second time texas and oklahoma match up here uh 330 kickoff here texas is a 14 and a half point favorite in this game i i know historically whenever it's like this large of a of a over under like it's it tends to be a little bit closer, it tends to be closer. So I'm rivalry game. You n- never know what's going to happen here. So, I mean, 14 and a half got to score more than two touchdowns. Sure. I'll, sure. I'll take the Sooners. Sure. By the way, Austin said in the chat a little bit ago. Um, did you guys know Ohio State is now the betting favorite to win the Natty? Um, they're plus 290. Texas and Georgia are plus 450. Cool. Cool. That's great. I'm surprised that Vegas sees Texas and Georgia as equals. Because I quite frightened. I mean, and we we literally did this during collegiate chaos on Tuesday. Um, I think Ohio State and Texas are equals. And I think Georgia's that next sort of bit behind quite frankly um that's that's my big surprise there more than anything else i would think that ohio state and texas would both be plus 290 because i do think and i'm not this is where i'm getting at with this i do think texas is that good i really do think texas is that good and i am really just not a fan of oklahoma this year i quite frankly think that they're secretly very bad And I actually don't even know how much of a secret it is, to be honest with you. Uh, Texas has only not covered once, and they had a huge margin to cover against Mississippi State last week, which they didn't do. Um, But outside of that, they've their first four games, they all covered. um, Oklahoma has been iffy against the spread and even... You know, they covered against or excuse me, they failed to cover against Houston. They failed to cover, in fact, lost to Tennessee. Um, I don't I think I think Oklahoma's fake good, quite frankly. And I I don't even know how much good they even really are. Um, Again, they only beat Houston by four, only beat Tulane by 15. Auburn sucks this year. They only won by six. They've only game they've looked good this year is against Temple. Meanwhile, Texas has covered all but one game. Give me Texas. All right. Uh, Austin here says this game will be really fun. I think Oklahoma isn't a great team, but they're frisky. They can make you earn it like they did against Tennessee. I do think Texas is better, but their defense is a little suspect. Anything can happen in the Cotton Bowl. And I might take Texas at 13 and a half, but that extra point looms large. Texas wins, but Oklahoma covers. 
that by that 14 points, 38, 24. All right. All right. Third, third game. Third game. Which game, game will also, be closer? Ohio State, Oregon, or the Red River? Uh, Ohio State, Oregon. I think Ohio State, Oregon, because if if you if you take Ohio State, Oregon, I'm this this is my thought process. Take Ohio State, you take Oregon, you take Texas, you put Oklahoma, and you play the which one of these is not like the other game. Oklahoma is clearly not like the others. They're the most not like the others. Fair. But, you, you know, you know, like with these rivalry games, like anything can happen. Like you, 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 sure. nev- you never, you can never know. Uh, all right. Staying, staying with the third 330 slot. Penn State traveling on over to South Carolina. South Carolina, Oof. South California. Oh boy, South Cal- How California. How dare you? <laughs> I know. Um, taking on the Trojans here. That USC uh, is Penn not State. USC. That USC yeah. is Scar. I know. I know. Uh, Penn State is a five and a half point favorite in this game. What say you in this matchup, Jared? Am I going first? Yes, sir. All right. Um, I, this one. I think is pretty. Oh, that's the wrong one. Do I not have this one pulled up? I might not have this one pulled up. Am I going to have to go? No, there it is. All right. Penn State feels kind of like an erratic team to me. I, I think the important takeaway with with them right now is that they aren't. Austin just got his power back. Thank God nothing bad's about to happen in Florida, though. Look, I, I, you know, that's obviously a joke, but like, hey, like, keep it together, Florida. We're we're watching. We're watching out for you. Um, <laughs> that's fair. I earned that. Um, Penn State, I think, is a team that is very disappointing. Um they're not doing great against the spread. They're only they they did they did beat the spread pretty good against West Virginia, but since then their only win over the spread was against Kent State. They failed the spread against UCLA and Illinois and had an ugly game against Bowling Green. Um when it comes to USC, they either win or they lose. Spread regardless. If they win, they cover. If they lose, they don't. Um and we are once again doing a new Big Ten versus old Big Ten. East Coast Big Ten, West Coast Big Ten. The away team does not do good against the spread, at least so far this year, in these games. I'm going to take USC to cover. And I'm I'm putting this game on... I'm putting this game on upset watch as well. I agree. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that USC is for sure going to win, but I am putting this game on upset watch. I agree. I agree. I. I, th- I think USC is going to. I think USC is going to win this game. Uh, oh, Drew Aller has been. Drew, Drew Aller has been struggling. Has been struggling this year, and he he, he, yeah. he can't throw the ball deep. There, he doesn't there, have just, anyone to throw too deep. Oh, yes. But gosh, yeah, I yeah, I'll take USC at home. I'll take USC at home here. It's Are you are I, you I, saying I, win I, and cover? Win and cover. Yes. But they they just they just five and a half, five and a half points for Penn State. Unless I'm missing something. This this kind of seems like easy money to me, but but I may be missing something here, so. Well, USC isn't very good. Like they lost to Minnesota last week. Minnesota's bad this year. Mm-hmm. Like, but but to, but, to, but to your point, they traveled. Yeah, yep. They traveled one hundred percent too. So west, east, and east, and west. Here. I'm using your logic here. So, all right, Austin here says USC getting five and a half at home in the Coliseum against a Penn State team that is a quarterback by Drew Aller. 
I know USC's defense is suspect, but come on. The pick, USC to win in cover 27 to 22. All right. Kyle, did we just all give away the third segment of the show? I think we did, but okay. We'll, we'll let every we'll let, we'll let everybody think about that if you haven't if you haven't figured it out. And we're going to go ahead and take our first ad break. Uh, the Sloopcast dot com is your go to link for everything Sloopcast related. Patreon dot the Sloopcast, Discord dot the Sloopcast, YouTube dot the Sloopcast, Merch dot the Sloopcast. Can't remember any of those. Just remember the Sloopcast dot com gets you all those lovely links to. Every everything else Sloopcast related here. Um I wanna I wanna point out the uh Patreon um in this segment here. If you like listen to Jared and I, wanna help support us a little bit, head on over to patreon.thesloopcast.com um and we will give you a link to um uh, our episodes that doesn't include ads. Uh win for you, win for everybody here. So uh again, the sloopcast.com, check it all out. Um, with that being said, we're going to take our first ad break and, and be right back. I'll point out, Kyle, we're only three picks in. I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a moment and it's point half. out that that's half. it is. That that's the first game that we all three agreed on. Maybe the only one. It, maybe. Just listen live, so, then you don't have to listen to ads. This is very true. We got... <laughs> We got quite a few people watching, chatting live tonight, too. Yeah. All right. Next game here, Arizona and undefeated BYU. This game's in at BYU here, 4 o'clock on Fox. Fox likes to be different and not do 3.30, but it's 4 o'clock. BYU is a a three-and-a-half point favorite in this game here. I'll start. I'll start off with this one here. I, yeah, exactly, Esquire. I, I I got the Cougs to win and cover in this game here. I, they they've been. I, I like what I see from BYU so far this year. They've, I mean, obviously they're 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 undefeated here. Uh, they they got some good wins. It's it's not like I'll pick on Ohio State. It's not like Ohio State's um, earlier opponents where they played. Akron and Western Michigan. They they played Baylor. They played Kansas State. Won the and won those games there. I'm I, sorry. Can you not? Can you not say Baylor like that game mattered? It's <laughs> it's it's, be, it's better. It's better than Akron, Jared. Not by a lot. Okay. All right. I'm I'm just going to move on from there. I yeah. And I I like um. Yeah. Agreed. Giving K State a loss is something. I I hundred percent agree there. I really like their quarterback at Red Slap. He's 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 been doing really well so far this um so far this year. He's not only is he able to throw the ball, he's 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 able to make plays on on his feet as well. Good point, I expect Spikes. that to be the same. I expect this I expect that case to be the same in the, in this game here. So yeah, I'll pick BYU to to win and cover. Spikes points out that Kansas State is mortal on the road. Very good point. They they play much better in Manhattan than they do anywhere else. Um, right, who do you got, Jared? I Manhattan, Kansas. Did you not know that Esquire or excuse me, Gangland? It's Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> You're fucking kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very funny to me. They call it the little apple. They sure do. Um, yeah, I'm 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 a hundred percent going BYU on this. BYU, Kyle, right now, not just five and zero on the record sheet, but five and zero against the spread this year. Meanwhile, Arizona's only beaten the spread once this year. That against the spread, one of these teams is a juggernaut, and the other one is not. Uh, now, let me, by the way, by, Kyle points out that they beat Kansas State and then point out that they beat Baylor and tried to act like Baylor was some accomplishment. That's not. Baylor sucks. Their games before that, Kyle, Wyoming. S Methodist. I don't even know what S Methodist is. Southern Methodist, I assume. 
and Southern Illinois. All right. Meh. Jared, Jared's got the cover here. Um, Austin. I really love Arizona this year. Is that SMU? Like quarterback. Did I just say something I, stupid? I, 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 I like their quarterback. Uh, they're just fun for me. <laughs> yeah, because Esquire. I, think, I, I figured so that they, out too late. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that so I think, out late. Think, that actually is a that actually is a pretty good win. SMU's is that SMU? Um, t- t- talking about Arizona, he said they're they're just fun for me because I think Noah is fun. And I love uh, McMillan. He might be the best re- receiver in this year's draft. However, I think with BYU being at home, they might be able to hold off the Wildcats. This game. I don't feel confident about though, so I'll take the points. Uh, BYU to win, but Arizona to cover. So he's got Arizona to cover here. By by the way, that is in fact Southern Methodist, which is SMU. So I take that back. That's that's in fact a pretty good win. So All right. we 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 got we got three games. Sorry, we're for a- we're. Uh, sorry, he, he picked Arizona. Arizona. We we have three games for our night games here. Uh, we already talked about the Ohio State Oregon, so be sure to check out Thursday's episode on on that one. Um, Ole Miss and LSU is the next game here. Uh, this is the ABC um, night game here. Ole Miss on the road is a three and a half point favor over the over LSU. It is your turn, Jared. I will let you I will let you pick first. Well, thank you for letting me pick first, Kyle. I do appreciate it. Um I'm gonna say this. Um in my opinion, both of these teams are overrated. That's it. I I I don't really like either of these teams that much. But Jerry, did you consider SEC? I sure did. Uh, I also considered that LSU lost to Notre Dame. Excuse me, not Notre Dame, USC. Who also is not very good. That's a fact. USC is not very good. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Who do you got, Jared? (laughs) I'm sorry. Your gift threw me in the chat. Uh, that being said, despite me not liking Ole Miss that much, I I think that they win this football game. Um, let, let, let me just say it like this. Neither of these teams are good, but LSU's worse. That That's it. I mean, ultimately, that's right. what it comes down to. And Ole Miss, if they win, they cover based off of their five games this year, if they win, they cover. And I think they'll win, and I think they'll cover. Give me Ole Miss. All right. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I don't, it's, it's tough. It's tough winning winning at LSU here. It's, it, it really is here. They, and because of that, like, I, like you're, you're giving three and a half, for LSU here, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the points, and I think, I think, I, I think LSU will make this really, really close here. So, yeah, give me the points. I'll take, I'll take LSU to at least cover. At least cover. It's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. They, they, they may win this one too. They may win this, but it's this will be a close. This will be a close. You believe one. this is a top twelve matchup? Given the other teams that we've seen this year, it might be, Jared. It might be. God, the middle right, Austin, is very middling this year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Austin says here, it just means more. That's it. And he has LSU to win and cover 38 to 36. Fair enough. I guess I'm riding alone again. We st- we only have one game. We still you. only have that one I told game. You. I said it, there might be just one game that we all agree on. There, yeah, there is still only one game. Mm-hmm. 
that we that we all have in common. And that's USC apparently not just covering but beating Penn State. Since we started doing guest pickers in 2017, I've had the same breakdown of an SEC game on the slate every year. <laughs> that's funny. Respect. That is all right. And the last all right. The last game here that we have, Jared, is Kansas State and Colorado. Both four and one teams. Both a a critical game in the Big Twelve matchups. Is if you've listened to us talk about collegiate chaos here, there's like six, seven teams that can win the Big Twelve to make it to the playoffs. This is this is a big this is a big game to really try to elevate this is a big who's going week to be, for the Big beat. Twelve. It is. BYU is, Arizona yeah. has potentially far reaching effects. Kansas State Colorado has potentially far reaching effects. Um West Virginia is playing mm-hmm. um oh crap, who's West Virginia playing this week? But that'll have huge Big Twelve ramifications. Um, That's a yeah, very big week for Iowa, the Big Twelve. Iowa State. Iowa, Iowa State, State, yes. Yeah. Um, that, that, that was that was the second game that we were going to pick if we didn't do Kansas State and Oregon. But uh, we, Kansas we, State we decided, and Colorado, you mean? Um, I'm sorry. Iowa State and West Virginia was the one we were going to pick if we didn't do Kansas State and Colorado. So yeah. but here we are. Here we are. We have Kansas State and Colorado is the is the pick here. Kansas also, State I have, on, hold on. on the Just, road is a four is, and a half point is a four and a half point um, game. favorite tier. Yeah, it's a 10-15 Excuse me, 10-15 kickoff. I'm, I'm leaving it. Yeah, 10-15. I, had, I originally had 7-30 written on the board, so. What, what are you doing, ESPN? Whatever. Kansas State, four and a half, four and a half here. Um, I guess I'm picking here. Um, in case you haven't seen a trend, I, I, have, I have a trend here. I have a trend with all of my picks. Have you have you picked up what the what the what the uh, trend is here? Probably not with that silent there. No, I haven't. I'm, 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 go, I'm going. I'm going. Yep, there it is. I'm going to stick with this trend here. I got Colorado to all home games. Outwin, is what he out out outwin, is outwin, outwin the, just to out outright win this game. Beat the beat Kansas State here. So give me. Give me Colorado with the points here. See my previous K-State comment. It's a good point. It's a very good point. Uh, I, too, am going to go with Colorado. Um, I think you have to look at these. I think you look at these teams over the last three weeks. I think is an important way to look at these two teams. Um, Colorado has gotten better over the past three weeks. Uh, First two weeks didn't look that great. I mean, I guess it depends upon how you evaluate North Dakota state, right? Like, Hey, it's an FCS team, but also it's the best FCS team. Right. But they got shellacked by Nebraska. They barely, they barely beat North Dakota state, which is again, an FCS team, but the best FCS team. Then they had a really good game against Colorado State. They covered against Baylor. Um, They shellacked UCF last week. Now, if you look at Kansas State the past few weeks, the past three weeks specifically, they won by 24. They lost by 29. And then they won by 22. This is a very erratic team. And you might be saying, wow, how does that happen? Well, to Spike's earlier point, at home, one by 24. Away, lost by 29. At home, one by 22. Yeah. Never, right. never, never take Kansas State. Never take Kansas State out of Manhattan. Yeah, g- is, give me give me Colorado. Is that um is that rule number 24 we need to put on here? Don't take Kansas State on the road. No, you, you do want to play Kansas State. Kansas State should never leave. You know what? It doesn't matter. We, we're, we're not dedicating one of our rules to Kansas State. <laughs> All right. Austin here says, if I'm honest, 
I really like Kansas State and I really don't like Colorado from a program standpoint. Because of that, I'm actually going to head my my pick here where I'm well, I'll be happy no matter what happens at the end of the game. Talk about a, a win win. But he has Colorado to win and cover by a good margin here, 42 to 23. All right. We kind we finally all agreed again. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And so if two, you two uh, games out of two out of those six games, we, we agreed here. And Kyle, you had Ohio State winning by exactly three, right? I did. Yeah. So Ohio State uh, or rather. Austin and I are picking Ohio State. Kyle's picking Oregon. If you want to hear it's it's that's the theme that I have this year it, or not this year, this this week here. It's just just it just happened to be that. So, yeah, it, if you want to hear our more in-depth conversation on Ohio State, Oregon, listen to our Thursday episode, Know Your Enemy, Oregon. All right. Um, that is it for the Sloop Picks. Kyle, we're going to do Chaos Theory next. But before we do Chaos Theory, uh, do some a quick ad break. Kyle already did the lengthy ad break. I'll just say... Uh, Visit the Discord, visit the YouTube page. If you're already watching this on YouTube, if you like watching this on the Buckeye Huddle YouTube, you can continue watching this on the Buckeye Huddle YouTube. We love our Buckeye Huddle family. But make sure to at least throw us a subscribe over on our own personal channel. You can keep watching it here on Buckeye Huddle, but go subscribe over on the personal channel as well. Um, Discord, fun community, come hang out with us. Patreon if you want to support us financially. And if you want to buy a t-shirt, I'm currently wearing the DBU shirt. Show your love for Ohio State's defensive backs. Although this is not Ohio State merchandise. This is not Ohio State merchandise. My lawyer told me to emphasize that. Right, Esquire? Uh, this is strictly Sloopcast merchandise. Because... We are the best defensive backs here at the Sloopcast. Or maybe we're douchebags. I don't know. It's not Ohio State merch. Here, sorry. That was this was supposed to be the short ad break. <laughs> Here's here are those ads now. Preposterous to even fathom it's Ohio State related, says my lawyer. <laughs> all right jared um yes, this, this is this is the part of the episode where we uh where we change it up this year and we are doing our chaos theory scoreboard so if you haven't listened to us yet here uh this is the part of the sloop picks where we pick up our upset here so the rules to this is that we have to pick a game where an unranked opponent beats a ranked opponent. And based on where that opponent is currently ranked in the AP, yet APs don't matter, but in, 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 in our scoreboard here, we are going, going up on the AP until the college playoff rankings come out. And based on the ranking, we give points. So if, um, if we have a team who's ranked 8th, and they lose and we pick them, we get 18 points. If they're ranked uh, 25th, we get one point. Cool? Cool. Let, let's <laughs> let's do our picks here, Jared. Cool. The AP hey, is Austin. It really is. Hey, Austin, who's since you're in here, who who do you have here? I don't, it's, I don't it think is. I have it. It is. Oh, you do. I do. Here it is. He says, um, he also oh, gave it away not, during if, the sloot picks. Yeah. If it's not clear, if it's not clear, my chaos theory pick is USC over. Penn State. That's mine too. Is it? it because is. it's also mine. <laughs> hey, look at this. We're all we're all going to get points or no points in this one. It's very <laughs> anticlimactic, I, I must say. But I, 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 it is here. It's hey, the problem hey, is if, if, it, if it makes of... you guys feel if it makes you guys feel better, I'm. I've gotten the last two correct here, so I'm on a good I'm on a good streak here. So I also can't gain any points on you, which makes me upset. 
Um, the problem, a lot of the teams, a lot of the highly ranked teams that I don't like are either not playing this week or playing another ranked team. Which is why we should pick different ones. <laughs> then you'd have to draft it, which would require yeah. you to be here live, which I know you are typically here live, well, well, but let's, not let's, everyone let's, is. Let's, well, let's let's look, even though we made our picks, let's look at some other unranked versus ranked ones. I tell you uh, what, it's a, a lot of the highly fun. ranked teams. Fun. I know, but I'm just it's, saying a lot of the highly ranked teams that I think are fake good are either A, not playing this week, or B, playing another ranked team. So yeah. I I really felt like I thought going, when I first looked at this, I thought it was based off of conversations we had at the end of um, Chaos Theory, I thought I was going to have a lot of great options to pick from. And once I actually looked at it, I actually had a feeling this might happen because I think it's far and away mm. the best Chaos Theory pick available. Yeah. So in my opinion, I'm looking down to the list of Teams who are, who are they playing here? If I if I was picking the over under, I might pick I might pick Wake Forest to cover over Clemson here. Clemson's like a twenty and a half, twenty one and a half point favorite on the road against Wake Forest, but I don't think Clemson. I wouldn't pick Clemson in, in that one there. Um, I think Cal has a chance to beat Pittsburgh on the road. Uh, Pittsburgh's ranked twenty second. I like Pittsburgh but, in that game a lot, but also that's only 20. They're, they're ranked 22nd. Yeah, so that's only four points, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I'm not, not touching Mississippi state over Georgia. I know that there's somebody in the, um, in our sloop cats that says, Hey, Hey, what, what, what about, what about the Florida and Tennessee game here? Yeah, I, I kind of thought maybe Austin would take Florida. Okay, who's hey, who's who is who's Florida's best win though? Who's Florida's best win? If you're saying Florida isn't that bad, Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> who's Tennessee's best win? Oklahoma. Yeah. I, I I didn't even hesitate that. Who Jared told us isn't very good. What? You're using me as an authority now? <laughs> <laughs> um So yeah, any, I mean are there, honestly are there any other game. Oh what West Virginia. West Virginia over Iowa State is that is another is another great one. Um I did not, consider not many, West Virginia. Not, not, not many point not many points, but I think um Colorado over Kansas State, not many points, but there's that's some points there as well, too. I, I think Agreed. those are, I think, in my opinion, the games. Yeah, I mean, Colorado of Kansas State, again, it's just Kansas State's 18th. That's only eight points. The Penn State sitting there worth 22 is just really hard to not pick. Exactly. Exactly, um, yeah. Because I don't think Penn State's all that great, quite frankly. And I think USC is a pretty good team in the not currently ranked category. Of all the teams that aren't ranked, USC is pretty good. Um, I don't like South Carolina enough to pick them over Bama. I also don't expect Bama to lose twice. I don't like I don't like Clemson, but I don't like Wake Forest either. Um, I don't like Oklahoma, but they're playing Texas this week. So I can't do that. Stanford's yep. garbage. I'm not going to pick Stanford to beat Notre Dame. Um, I think California over Pittsburgh, I'd consider if they were in Berkeley, but they're in More Pittsburgh. Points. No, no, not even. Um, I mean, yeah, sure. Pittsburgh's ranked 22nd. That's not a lot of points. It, yeah. Arizona, Arizona over BYU is, is, is a decent amount of points too. That's 14. Yeah. That's 12 points. That's 12 points. That's, that's a, that's a good amount. It is. I think that's a good pick, but the problem is, is that Penn state sitting there at 22 is just way too tempting. It is. Uh, Cause again, if you look at the other like top 10 teams, sure. Florida over Tennessee is at least worth considering. Mississippi is not going to, or excuse me, Mississippi state is not going to beat Georgia. 
Ohio State and Oregon are playing each other, so that takes both of those off the board. I don't like Ole Miss, but they're playing at LSU. Like, yeah, you shouldn't. I think that's it. You shouldn't have said that about Vandy last week, or you would have said that about Vandy last week. I probably did say that about Vandy last week, and you know what? Nine out of ten times, I'd have been right to say it. It's just the tenth one happened. That's that's all. The tenth one happened. That's yeah. that's how these things work. All right, I think that's it. I think that is all. I think that's our episode here. We we went through all of our sloop picks. We went through our chaos theory here. I I think that I think that's it. You got anything else you want to add before we end the episode, Jared? Um, want to remind everyone again to uh, make sure to follow Ohio State on Bleacher Report. Um, we're going to be doing a instant reaction streaming on Bleacher Report this week. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you're in our Discord or on our Patreon, by the way, Patreon recently added a thing where you can follow us on Patreon, but not actually pay us like you can just follow us so if i put a free post out there you'll see it so if you want to follow the show even if you don't want to get us money but you want to be like up on the latest sloopcast news i'm gonna start posting more updates to patreon that are free that everyone can see um so keep an eye out on the patreon visit the discord we'll send links out there but i think if you just follow ohio state on the bleacher report app you'll also see it so um that's 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 my only updates. Do you have anything in Kyle's corner? I'm going to be it's hammered quiet. in there, God willing. All right. Yeah, it's it's been it's been it's been pretty quiet, honestly. Here, there's not really a lot of news on the on the recruiting trail. Or it's not a lot of extra activities here, which is probably a good thing, especially with all the news that Georgia players have have had recently here too. So that's it's it's a good thing. Right. Did you answer my Ask Sloopcast about Michigan? Um, who has the more who has more first round picks this year, Ohio State or Michigan? At that one, that's going to take uh, more time than we have here at the end of the show to answer. If that's the one you're talking about. Um, that's a good question. It's outside the scope of today's episode. That would, that would take some thought and some research and we're, we're ending this episode. <laughs> it's a good question. Might, might be an entire episode in the, after the season, as a matter of fact, but, um, you're just, you know, scope it out a little bit further. It might be an entire episode, but yeah, it's just, it, the thing is, is that, Michigan's defense is good enough that that is a good question. I still think it's Ohio State, though. Without doing the math, I still think it's Ohio State. But it is a good question. Um, you, I, you already did Kyle's Corner, right? Yes, sir. All right. That's it. That's the end of the, that is the end of the show. If I don't trip over all of my words. So, with all that being said, uh, I, I forgot to introduce the band first, uh, playing the band, playing to vapors tonight, playing to vapors, name of the band. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are playing to vapors.